The state opposition leader has broken her silence two days after her party detailed allegations of sexual misconduct by former LNP member Jason Costigan. Deb Frecklington has urged complainants to report their allegations to authorities. Here's state political reporter Alison Horne. Valentine's Day, but no love lost in state parliament. A bit over four years ago, Queenslanders ended a toxic relationship. They broke up with those opposite. Will the Premier take responsibility for anything her government does ever? I call the... What is your... The taunts and teasers not impressing the Speaker as one after the other MPs were booted from the chamber. I will not tolerate childish antics in this House. For a second day, Labor had more questions about former LNP member Jason Costigan and allegations he sexually assaulted, harassed and stalked women. I call on the Leader of the Opposition to front the media today to answer journalists' questions as I note she has not spoken on this matter so far this week. I urge those complainants to either send it to the proper authorities or send it to, if they think it's appropriate, to the Speaker of the Parliament. The opposition leader was also repeatedly asked if the party had complainants' permission to air the allegations in Parliament. I've been in constant contact with the family. I've made my statement very clear. I've been in constant contact with the family and I've kept in constant contact in to, with the family and I've got nothing more to add to that. While the theatrics of Parliament dealt with the rogue MPs' alleged failings, another controversial issue has re-emerged, voluntary euthanasia. It's set to dominate over the coming months, with the public now invited to give its view. It's an historic day because voluntary assisted dying has never been before the Queensland Parliament before. I think it's, it's the politicians who have been traditionally standing in the way of this law reform. A recommendation on assisted dying laws won't be known until the end of the year. Alison Horne, ABC News, Brisbane.